All right, hello and welcome back, dudes and dudettes, to another Dino Duds Grounded videos. Uh, it's a tip and trick I did about, I think it was 400 and some days ago. Uh, it's more or less, not really a tip, it's a guide, and kind of a guide with a little bit more info than what I had last time about the sunken treasure chest. So, with the sunken treasure chest, what you're going to notice is it is a little bit harder to get to. It does take a little bit of time. Uh, personally, I would recommend having a bubble helmet and some fin flops. Uh, as you can see here, I'm kind of in a creative world, well, or custom. Things don't aggro on me and stuff. And this is just so I can show you the basics, like what you should have. Obviously, you might not have the plus versions of these, so keep that in mind when you are playing. Uh, to get to this part that we're going to go through, on wheels. whenever he's not yelling, uh, you're going to actually come over to the Oak Lab, and then you're going to come over to here. And right about here is the pink juice box, which is going to be your go-to guide to kind of see it. And then what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to jump straight off right here and go into the water. Now this trip, if you don't get any of these air bubbles and you have the fin flop pluses, will take you, I believe it was 80 seconds. So you have about 80 seconds to get there if you decide not to take any air bubbles and just go straight there. It takes about two or three full bars of stamina. Since I had the faster fin flops, it took me about two and a half, so it might be four of the stamina bars to get through it. So just keep that in mind. You're gonna have about 80 seconds of oxygen if you do what I'm gonna show you. Uh, maybe a little bit less, depending on what you're rolling with. So as you can see, treasure chest is right there. But to get through here quickly, you wanna use these. And these are an excellent source of getting you to go faster. What these are going to do is get you up here quicker and not waste as much time so you can get to this button or the scanner that you're going to have to equip or do. It does take roughly, I think, about 10 seconds to do it, so you're going to want to make sure you have oxygen for it. That's why I recommend the bubble helmet. You might be able to pull it off with a gill tube, but I don't recommend it. There is another light down here, so if you run out of your light, you have one right here. You know, the slime uh, lanterns are what you're going to need. You're going to open this door up, come up here, get your breath back all the way, and then you're going to continue back down. Now, the reason I say to do this is because it's going to make it a lot more convenient. Honestly, I would also do the little dials too. I'd get one over there, one over there, and then the one in here. What this is going to do is it's going to open up this way for you eventually. So if you have trouble getting you know, through there, they used to have creatures in there like the little uh, diving ball spiders, but they don't anymore. But it used to make it a little bit more convenient when I was a little bit scared and didn't want to, like, get to a hit. But anyways, right around here is how you're going to get to the sunken treasure chest key. Now, when you come down here, it's a small, very, very dark hole uh, slash tunnel that goes for a pretty good amount of distance. And it has about five to seven diving bells in it. I've seen as many as seven, but right this one, I think I saw five. You can see there's one there, there's two. Sometimes they can get stuck in the wall, so be careful of that. They're very freaky. Come over here, there's three, four, and five. And then if you look right here, between these branches next to your air pocket thing, is actually your key. It's gonna be called the Mossy Key once you get it. Just go back out the way you came. So go back over to the branches right here. You guys are very vocal today. You're gonna come back through the tunnel the way you came. You can get stuck, so please be aware. Be careful. It, it's a very iffy tunnel sometimes. And it can cause you a lot of hurt. So if you have to, make sure you got your breath. If you have to fight, give it your best shot. I recommend the Bone Trident, as it does the most damage. And it's actually pretty effective. I believe it stacks with the Spear Mutation. I don't think the spear mutation does much anymore but i believe it helps in some way but then you're going to come back through here make sure you go swimming low enough to avoid these little jettison things that help speed you up because after all we, we want to get back to the sunken treasure as fast as possible if you have to stop for a breath inside of the lab real quick uh just in case if you, you were fighting your way back out and everything you know as you come up to the sunken treasure chest here click on it and now as a mega milk molar, which it used to not have, so this is kind of a re-update to my guide. And the sunken treasure Blurgle Outpost chip. Super nice, very convenient. 
But anyways, dudes and dudettes, if you like the video, please like, share, subscribe, tell your friends and your family. Hopefully this updated guide helps you out and gives you a bit more information about it. Like I said, it's been about a year and a half, almost two years since I last did this guide, so... Yeah, I wanted to kind of do a refresher. But anyways, dudes and dudettes, that's the video. I hope it helps you out. And as always, stay classy.